Flat Earth Proof 25 Rainbows According to the current curriculum, rainbows are formed when sunlight is split into its component colors when it refracts through water droplets suspended in the air. But when pressed to duplicate this phenomenon using an artificial source of light, experiments always fall short, instead relying on a prism to split a beam of light, failing to have it manifest in 3D airspace as true rainbows do, yet still saying, ah, there you go, see, a rainbow. But rainbows are not merely prismatic projections, as they distinctively form in the shape of an arc, as well as moving relative to the position of the observer. Two peculiar features of true rainbows, which these experiments fail to even consider. But have you ever wondered why rainbows are oft visible outdoors, yet nearly never indoors? Sure, it's easy to refract light using a prism and cast its split colors onto an opaque surface, but a true rainbow cannot be demonstrated without relying on the sun itself, or in some more obscure instances using a secondary light source or a mirror. Now if it were simply water droplets refracting the light as a prism does, it would then cast the separated colors onto a surface from which you could view it. This projection, like that from a prism, would not move relative to the observer. Not to mention that instead of forming a well-defined arc like that of a true rainbow or even multiple bows, it would rather project the separated light onto all droplets in the air, a prism from every droplet reflecting off of every droplet creating a surreal sheen of iridescent mist. But the full shape of a true rainbow becomes apparent when the observer's altitude is sufficient to reveal the entire halo-shaped projection. Considering this, as well as the need for a reflection of the primary light source in true rainbow reproductions, could it then be inferred that the sun's light may be reflecting off something round thus creating the shape and projection of a rainbow? Understanding this projection is quite likely the beginning in understanding the nature of our sky, or firmament, as some refer to it as. It could very well be that this is the structure which is reflecting sunlight, thus providing the secondary light source necessary to project a true rainbow and why it is only possible to see a rainbow when the sun is behind you. So investigate the subject for yourself and ask questions.